Hi, I'm Lee at Iridium. I hope everyone's doing fine today. So, I'm going to do a reaction today. So, Sweet Oblivion, which is featuring Jeff Tate, have brought out a second release from the forthcoming album. So, the forthcoming album is called Relentless, out on April the 9th on Frontiers. Second album from um, Sweet Oblivion. So, this song is actually called Another Change. Let's just run you through the band quickly. Who else is on this project? So Jeff Tate on vocals, Aldo Lenobo on guitar, Luigi Andreoni on bass, Antonio Agati, I think I pronounced that correct, on keyboards, Michelle Asana on drums. So this is, the first album was written and produced, I think from the guy out of DGM, Simone Melleroni. So this one is actually by Aldo Lenobo, which is the guitarist. He's written and produced this one. So they brought out a single already. I reacted to that, which was Strong Pressure. Um, it was pretty good. I liked it. Um, I've noticed that people have been commented on that song. Not under my video or anything like that, but on the... Um, the actual song saying it's better than anything Queensryche have done in the last 10 years or something. Or obviously since Todd the Tour has been in the band. Now, that last single was good. Strong Pressure, it was good. But if they are Queensryche fans that are saying that it's better than anything Queensryche have done in the ten, last 10 years, if they are actually Queensryche fans and they were fans of the classic era of Queensryche, in other words, the warning or the EP even, and all the way up to, you know, probably Promised Land. If they're true, like, Queensryche fans from that era, and they're saying that Strong Pressure, or anything that Sweet Oblivion has done, the last album as well, is better than anything Queensryche have done in the last 10 years, they are full of shit. Because, basically, if you like classic era Queensryche, you would love the Todd the Torah era. Now, I know we're talking about Sweet Oblivion and we're still talking about Jeff Tate. I just don't want everyone to get too excited about Jeff Tate. You know, he's, he's, he's done a good album in Sweet Oblivion, the first one. This one is he's probably going to be good. But if you're going to compare it to the stuff that Todd the Torah is doing with Queensryche and say it's better, and you're a Queensryche fan and you're, you're looking in that sort of way, I can understand if you don't like Queensryche at all, and you like Sweet Oblivion, that's fine. But if you think that this Sweet Oblivion stuff with Jeff Tate is better than the Todd Latoura stuff, and it, like comparing it to Queensryche of the old, you know, the, the classic era, you are absolutely you're either blind, you won't admit it, or you just haven't listened to the Queensryche stuff. Anyway, that's the rant over with. I actually like this Sweet Oblivion stuff. I just, um, I've, I just think as soon as Jeff Tate does anything that's, because people hang on, don't they, to the past. And the Jeff Tate's, by the way, is one of my favourite vocalists of all time. Um, but people just hang on to the past. And if Jeff Tate all of a sudden does something with a little bit of, you know, I don't know, melody in it, and starting to sound a little bit like Queensryche, a little bit like old Queensryche, just a tad, people fucking get an hard-on over it and just think it's the best thing ever. You've got to see, say it as it is, like I do. If I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't. But, you know, let's stop making them sort of like, this is better than what Queensryche are doing. Because it's uh, just not true. <laughs> it's just fucking not. If I had the choice of having Jeff Tate in now in Queensryche or keeping Todd, Todd Latoura at this moment in time, Todd Latoura all fucking day long. All day long. Now, it's different if we're talking back then, in the 80s. That's a different matter altogether. You know, Jeff Tate... Fucking amazing vocalist. Absolutely amazing. But he's not what he was. And to tell you the truth, he plays to his strengths now. He doesn't uh, reach too far up in his vocal range. And he's probably better off doing that. I've stopped ranting now. I've stopped ranting. But I just some of the things I read about, people don't give people a chance. That's the problem. People these days are just stuck in the past. I won't listen to it. It's like Alice in Chains. I, they won't give Alice in Chains a chance now Lane Staley's gone. They won't give Queensryche a chance now that Jeff Tate ain't in the band anymore. It's, I see it all the fucking time. 
Right, okay. That's enough of the rant. Here we go. This is Sweet Oblivion featuring Jeff Tate and another change. Give it a quick stop there. I was just giving reviews so far, so it's really good. I love it. The production is brilliant, by the way. I love the drum sound. It's like it hasn't suffered from that drum sound that um, a lot of bands are suffering from now. Um, his voice sounds great, absolutely great. The, my favourite parts are actually is the verses. I love the way the verses start up with that clean guitar. Don't you just love the sound of Jeff Tate's voice? with that clean guitar playing, the strumming, and it just reminds me of like, you know, when he used to be in Queens, right? Those little bits, they are like that. And then where it built up for that second part of the verses or the second verses, and letting the pre-chorus as well, or the, the bridge to the chorus is absolutely great. The, the chorus is okay, but the strongest part of this for me is the verses and the, and the pre-chorus, if you like. But overall, I love it. It's really catchy. Um, yeah, again, Jeff Tate playing to his strengths. Do you know what I mean? I don't think you're going to hear Jeff Tate do those monumentous screams again. But I think, you know, he's, I think he's doing it the way he should. You know, if he ever gets to play live with this band and these songs, he'd be able to just manage it, no problem. No point in just stretching yourself in the studio and not being able to handle it in the live situation. Not that I don't know if this, this is ever going to be a live thing. It probably won't be. It's more like a project, I think. But um, and it was also, Jeff Tate's had the um, he's had a hand in some of the songwriting on this album. I don't know how much. But I don't think he was he done any songwriting in the first Suite of Living album, but he is in this one. So, um, you know, that I was a bit worried about that. If you don't mind me saying, because of the way Queensryche went in the 90s and in the 2000s, the beginning of the 2000s, and Operation Mindcrime is banned. You know, I, I'm not impressed with those at all. So I was getting a bit worried about the amount of songwriting he might be doing in this. But it does sound very good. It sounds very melodic. You know, it's, um, 
Yeah, it's good. I like this better than the first track, actually. Strong pressure. I actually like this one better. Um, let's get on with the rest of this now. Give you a listen to the solo. Let's have a good listen to that, if there is one. Yeah, it's good. Good tune. Um, I like the use of keyboards, actually. Like piano effects, keyboards, if you like, running through it. Not too much, but it's there to sort of really give it a nice feel and atmosphere to the song. The solo I wasn't... Oh, it was good. Don't get me wrong. Amazing guitar solo is in technical. I wish it had a bit more melody in it, maybe following that chorus you know, the, the melody in the chorus or something like that, even in a little snippet of it. But it was very just all about the speed of the solo, if you like. But, you know, I'm, this they're very talented, all this band. I think I recognise some of the names. I think they've been in other projects on Frontiers, I'm not sure. But um, very talented musicians, without a doubt. You know, that goes without saying. Um, but sometimes on a guitar solo, I like it more simple but with more melody rather than just shredding and speed, if that makes sense. Because it was a really melodic song, so it sort of took me out of that melody a bit where it was so fast and just all about how fast he could play. Good guitarist, though, Aldo. He's, he's the guy who obviously writes the music as well and produces. So, very talented guy. Just um, sometimes solos I prefer simpler. Simple as that. Right. What do you think of this uh, Jeff Tate with Sweet Oblivion song? Let me know in the comments below. I am interested to, to hear, and it's all opinion, about, you know, what do you think of this compared to old Jeff Tate stuff? Now, it's a completely different band. And it's not Jeff Tate's fault that people are comparing this to Queensryche. People are. And I, that annoys me a bit. You know, it is a separate entity altogether. And you can tell it's separate. It's a lot more different. It's not as progressive. It's probably quite melodic. But, you know, the, the views I hear about people saying it's better than anything Queensryche have done are those Queensryche fans saying that. Because if it is, that's just ridiculous. So, I just want to know what you think of this compared to what you've heard Jeff Tate in before. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll see you next time.